can be ferocious predators. They'll invade a beehive, steal the larvae, and chop the heads off the adult bees, carrying their bodies back to their nest. They can devastate an entire honeybee colony in less than an hour. But as you'll see from this video, the bees aren't exactly defenseless. That ball of honeybees has swarmed around an invading hornet. Hundreds of bees form the ball in a matter of seconds. Japanese honeybees roast their predator to death with their combined body heat. But scientists believe these Cyprian bees favour a different murder method. They'll surround the hornet for up to 60 minutes, depriving it of oxygen until it suffocates. Remember a few weeks back the wheelchair you could steer by moving your tongue? Well, US company Ambient has gone one better, inventing a wheelchair you can control by thought alone. When the operator thinks of a word, even when no sound is produced, a sensor-laden neck band eavesdrops on the electrical impulses sent to the voice box. The signals are sent to a computer which decodes them and matches them to a series of pre-recorded words which can be used to direct the wheelchair. What's really cool is that the words can also be sent to a speech synthesizer, allowing a paralysed person to speak out loud. Race to the Moon, the sequel, just hotted up with Japan's successful launch of its lunar probe, nicknamed Kaguya, after a Japanese fairy tale moon princess. It's the largest lunar mission since the Apollo program. One main satellite and two baby ones will map previously unexplored areas, sending back high-def pictures. They'll help select the site of a manned lunar base. They might also shed light on the moon's evolution and history. A British scientist has invented a world first, non-stick chewing gum. It won't stick to your shoes, your clothes, even the pavement. If that wasn't good news enough, the stuff even biodegrades. Its secret ingredient is a rubber-like polymer that's hydrophilic. Being so fond of water, it's always encased in a film of water, which makes it easy to remove if it sticks in the first place. And this new clean gum even tastes great too. In a blind trial, most people preferred it to regular gum. The new clean gum should be available for mass consumption spring 2008. No robots this week, instead a talking parrot, albeit a dead one. Hello, Mr. Polly Parrot. I've got a lovely coat of fish for you. If you show me, there is room. No, it was you who moved the cage. Alex, the world-renowned talking African grey, finally quacked, age 31. Alex is actually an acronym for Avian Learning Experiment, and the many experiments Alex participated in suggested he could think and communicate like a five-year-old child. How many? Cow. That's right. You're a good you boy. Go back. No, you sweetie. Go back. No, you can't go back yet. You got to want some water? All right. Irene Pepperberg, the psychologist who worked with Alex since she bought him as a pet 30 years ago, described him not as a pet or a lab subject, but as a colleague. Well, that's it for Stillwell Science this week. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.